Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at an application that allows you to run your home automation uh, from HomeKit as well as your music devices, and that's called Fuse. Now, the thing I like about Fuse is that it combines not only HomeKit automation, where you can run your HomeKit devices, but it also includes a command and control over Sonos as well as your Apple TV. It'll allow you to cast things to your Macs or to uh, any kind of Google Chrome. And so it's got just a number of neat features in there, and it's done all in a nice interface uh, with these little uh, items here that stack up. And uh, again, it's just a really neat application. Uh, the other thing is it does have an Apple Watch application as well, so you can run this from your watch. And the great thing about Fuse is that it is a free application. So what I thought I'd do is show you how the application works and just kind of give you a tour of it and see if it's not something that might fit into your home automation process as well. So I'm just going to tap on Open here, and this takes me right into the application. And you can see that the application is made up of a series of cards. And so, as you can see there on the top, I've got Sonos uh, for the location of Loft. And you can see that's a volume control slider um, that I can just slide the volume up and down if I want to do that uh, to control the audio. And that would be for the Loft if anything was playing in there. You can see down below in my dining room, I had uh, some music playing. And so I can control, again, right from here, uh, what's playing in the dining room. And I get to see the album artwork there as well. And I can control the volume and play and pause and shuffle and all of that. And then if you just scroll down here, you can see there's a Chromecast for the loft. And so that would be for my uh, for a device that I've got. And you can see there I can uh, cast to my iMac as well. Here's the Apple TV. And you can see that it is a, a functional Apple TV application. And so I can use the select or the play or going back or home. And if I just keep going there, uh, the living room isn't on right now. So I just hit the connect to connect it to the living room if that was on. And then you can see I've got my various rooms here. I've got my entrance, my loft, a display area. I've got my master bedroom there. And you can see I've got only one light in the master bedroom. Uh, you'll notice that it does uh, say 66 degrees there because I do have a temperature sensor in there that it's reading and picking up that information for as well. And then you can see all my various rooms down here. So what I'll do is let's just go ahead. I'm going to tap this grid down below. And when you tap that, you can see all of the different things that you can jump to. So again, I've got Sonos in my loft. I've got it in my dining room. I can cast to the loft or to my iMac. There's my Apple TV, Apple TV in the living room. And then here's my rooms that I can get access to as well on the devices. And I can just jump quickly to those just by tapping in here. I'm going to tap off it, though, just to stay down here at the bottom. I can also choose to show or hide anything that I want. So I can hide not only the cards, but I can hide some of the devices underneath those cards. And you can see the various devices that I've got. Uh, underneath the cards there that it's picking up. And so I can hide those as well if I don't want those to show there. Uh, and you can see I got a Roku in the living room that I just don't have running right now. So let's tap on cancel. Uh, if I tap into the settings, uh, if you look at this real quick in the settings, you can choose the theme. And so right now the theme is uh, default, but you can go light or dark if you want to change the theme. And you can also choose what the background source is. Right now I've got it as uh, now playing art, but you can also customize it if you want to put your own background in there uh, just to make it look a little different. And then you can choose to blur or not uh, blur the background. And then you can always reset fuse if you're having problems. So it's going to tap on done. So those are the basic settings and you can see now it's all coming through there and loading everything back up. Uh, at any time, if I want to, I can grab uh, some of these cards and just move the order so that I can reassemble them to what works best for me. You know, if I want all my music at the top, maybe, or I want my lights at the top, that sort of thing, I can do that right in here. Uh, the other thing, too, is in each of these cards, there are a little three ellipses at the top. If I just tap on those three ellipses, you see I have the option to merge cards together. So if I want to make uh, two cards one, I can do that. Uh, and then in here, because it's Sonos, I can group my Sonos. I can hide the card refresh the card or if I tap on Sonos favorites you can see that my various uh, favorite playlists come up and I can just jump right into those and play right off of Sonos right away let's go ahead and tap off of that that's true for each and every one of these cards so if I come down here let's just go to the Apple TV if I tap there I've got merge hide or refresh card because there's not a lot of options there uh, but for instance let's say on my entrance if I just tap on the entrance you can see I can turn on the light there if I want that, or I can turn it off. You can see I'm kind of going back and forth there. 
if I hit the, uh, the little area right there with the three lines, uh, the hamburger there, you'll see that now I've got all of my items in that card. So you can see I've got my front door, that's locked. I've got my porch light, uh, and outside and inside door light right there. And if I just throw the switch, then I can turn all the lights on. And you can see that all those lights are on right now. And then I can individually turn lights on, and on or off as well. And again, right now for our purposes, you can see that's off and I've only got one on. Or I can then, of course, hit the master switch and they all go off. So again, depending on how you have these grouped in HomeKit, it will give you those options. Again, if I just keep going down, I can do the same here. And there's all of my different lights there. And I've got an overall loft light switch. So I can turn them all on or one bulb at a time, on or off. Again, if I just tap in, I'm turning that on. If I just tap the hamburger again, I close it down. Now for my uh, bedroom there, I only have one uh, item inside the bedroom, and so that's why that's showing there. Um, but again, if I tap in here, I can refresh or merge the cards as well. So again, just a really neat application uh, that allows you to do a number of things with it. And the nice thing is, is to have all of these things right at my fingertips is great. Now, another thing that you can do is you can add routines uh, into the application. If I just tap on the top into Manage Routines, you see that I have the option to add a routine. So if I just tap on Add, I can title it whatever I want. And then if I just come in here to Add, I can choose the action type, whether it's for HomeKit, if it's playing a Sonos favorite. So maybe I just want to put a button at the top for my favorites. If I want to group Sonos, or I've got things like Pause, Play, Previous Track, Increase, Decrease Volume, Set Volume, Shuffle. Uh, set loop state, and I can go left, right, up, down, back, home. You can see all the different things that I can do. Execute another routine or delay. So, for instance, let's just go back over here. Let's go to a home kit scene. And so there we go. I'm going to say done. And if I tap into scene, now I can choose what I want to do. I can say watch Apple TV at night, uh, turn on the loft cans only, chandelier, dining room lights on or off, uh, the stair stairs for night. Uh, that sort of thing. So all the different things that I've got here. So in this case, let's just go ahead. I'm going to put one for stairs all, and that's going to turn on all the lights for the stairs. I'm going to tap done. So that's finished. I'm going to tap on back. And so I've got that home kit scene right there. And I'm just going to say, uh, turn on stair lights. Just like that. And you can, that's you know, a little long, but you can, you get the idea there. I can test the routine from here and I can also add it to Siri and I can add another action. So like, let's say I want to turn on the stair lights and I want another light to come on or I want music to go on, whatever. Once I'm done with it, I just tap on back and then I'll say done. I can add as many as I want. I can say done. And now you see right there on the top, I've got the turn on stair lights. Again, too long of a, of a word there. I could shrink it down. I could just put stair lights. But if I tap that, then it's going to turn those lights on. And uh, again, I'd have to have another button for it to turn them off. And so you can see I've tapped that to turn the stair lights on. And if I come all the way down, you can see that the stair lights are on right now. And so I just come here and turn them back off. So that gives you an idea of how this application works. Again, uh, it's just a really simple application. What I do like about it is that everything's in one place. It's in this nice, simple card format. And I like the fact that I've got my HomeKit devices combined with my Sonos system all in one place. Uh, this also works for the iPad as well, which will spread it out a little more so that you can uh, see the cards across the screen. But it's one of those applications that I thought was great, and it didn't seem like it was getting uh, enough credit or play. So I wanted to make sure I did a screencast on it to let you guys know that's out there. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.